What your younger self is muttering about. Last! If only I could hear him myself. Let's talk about your younger self's problems later. Okay, but don't, don't forget. So. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my. The only people scared. Damn it. I'm still lost. God. Try recording Emmett's muttering. Jesus. I forgot about the hand recorder. Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I. Oh. <laughs> All right, we well, recorded it. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, I Good grief! Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand some... Uh, anything that he just said, but... Hmm, whatever. Where are you? Will you just give me a chance? Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the... Hamiltonian operator? Yeah! Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A! <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? <laughs> Not bad from the planet Vulcan. <laughs> uh, well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill. Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation of the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to it you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. 
don't get to subpoena my grandpa. No, <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No. Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Hmm. So... Edna, talk to her. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. Yeah. Whatever. I got a book. Oh, where? <laughs> Stupid woman. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How would Doc ever get mixed up in that? Hey. I wonder who really burned down the speakeasy. Just think, in 55 years, I'll be able to rent five-year-old movies on this spot. Just think. <laughs> what the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! <laughs> What'd you do? Oh. <clears throat> Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Damn it! A monkey out of Kid Tannen. <laughs> he stood on dark to me. Oh, God, funny. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. All right. Um. What, what did I need to do again? Oh yeah, I need to. Arthur Sapona. Uh. La 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 la. la complete. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah.
just think. <laughs> it... You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Then get out, Bob. Looks like they used a real shark. <laughs> Let's use hints again. Earlier in the game, Marty used an object to find its its owner. How? Huh? Oh, the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hat. The hat. Come here, dog. Doggy, 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 doggy. There you are. Hey, honey, come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Where's he going? Only one way to find out. <laughs> this game is interesting. Huh, deja vu. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Some other time. Come back here, you dick. Nope, I'm gonna call again. Whatever. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss te- Sorry. Fuck! Now, I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. It's me again. Please come. Why? I'm your grand, uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you. But I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. How the hell am I going to do this? To get out of you need to go and get something from the town center. Uh... Jesus, he's fast.
Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always huh. return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. There, you son I don't of a think bitch. that picture's gonna right do now. anything but confuse That's an people. Order. Don't make me angry, sure Smucko! Get down here Not and sure face what the do. music! You can't get away that easy. Nobody puts one over on Kim Tan and lives to right tell now. about it. You're dead meat, twerp! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. Start composing your epitaph now, because I'm gonna carve it in... Einstein! Help! Crazy Get mutt. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. How you doing, Einie? Einie? It's short for Einstein. Einstein, of course! Because he was a patent officer just like you! Whoa. So it is again. God. You're only making it worse for yourself. The longer you stay up there, the longer I'm gonna take evacuating your guts. Which is worse, kids bar, kids bark or his bite? Huh? Marty isn't cowed by kids ranting, but. Timid Archer probably would be. Try recording Kit while he's ranting. Evis. Evis. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! <laughs> hey, Einie! Look out, boss. It's it's that crazy mud again. I can't believe you lost him again. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Huh. We'll get that subpoena delivered. My name is Harry Cup. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdo. Now, what do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now. It's kid, right away, boss. Ah, uh, where's kid?
Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into... Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I hate doing stuff like that. But I won't have to much longer. No? Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right. <laughs> Alright, what's next? <sighs> Emmett needs alcohol for his rocket drill. Right. Um. How? You never know who can help you lay your hands on some butt leg hooch. Maybe the most unlikely of people. <laughs> yeah, number hint two. That's pretty straightforward hinting right there. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. Try not to say. What's the, scoop? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. And it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what well, liveries? Uh. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? Yeah, about Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so huh. mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. But I donate a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. <laughs> Ah, yes. The Italians do so many good work. <laughs> if you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? Mm. The farm for unwanted children. Perhaps their parents don't want them because they eat too much. Steal her bike! Alright, Edna. Just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. <laughs> Mr. Donnelly! Uh, Face it, you may never lay your hands on that bowling hooch, but there's someone else who can. Can you turn Edna's soup delivery service to your advantage? Where would you like to have the hooch delivered? Can you persuade Anna to make a delivery directly to Emmett's lab? Naturally, she only delivers soup. Uh, 
I'm so confused right now. Oh God! A cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right. Just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. <laughs> hey. Where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only, rummy. Excuse me. You talking to me? So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious Melissaphus, the actions of the misguided vandals that, that, that done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the, the, <laughs> just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. <laughs> Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look. All I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Salt? Salt? What, do you think it's too bland? Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? I just think it could use a little more salt. No accounting for taste these days. Nice rack. Yeah. Yeah. The kitchen's for management. Whoa! Uh. <laughs> hey! Uh All right. Dude! The kitchen's for management only, rummy. Whoa! Ugh. Hmm. Ah, Miss Strickland. 
come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tannen's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. Quickly get out. Quick. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. Try not to say. 